Chris Melberger, Andy. <laughs> Yeah. Screw up those nuples, everyone. I want you to just grab your nuples and screw them. Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, everyone. Episode 151. Yes. It's 151, and today I feel strange. It just feels strange. Last episode, 150, got taken down twice. Uh, Currently, right now as we speak, I just made some adjustments, and I'm uploading it. Re-uploading it again for the third time. One second. Blow my nose again. Sorry. Oh, that's stuck together. Okay, so... It firstly got taken down because... In the... the, If you watched it, there's a a clip I showed of the neighbors playing music, and you could just faintly, just faintly hear a few seconds of Amigos song. So I had to cut that out. Reuploaded it. It was fine. And then it got taken down again because apparently it was inappropriate. Because I, I'm i thinking it's because I had hashtag ball hog. And possibly because of the Dante Smith video that I featured. Showed. It, it was obviously fake poo. It showed some fake poo. And you know YouTube's just so strict nowadays it's just so strict basically we're (coughs) pretty we pretty much have the same regulations that television has okay and it's you know it's understandable it'll come to that but it's just frustrating and then to top it all off we just you know just corona I, i shouldn't even say that the fucking, the, the environment we live in now, I can't even say the word, you can't say the word on YouTube, that's how, ah, man, I told myself not to say the word, and I just said the word, because you're not supposed to say it, because your video gets flagged, it's, you know, like every day, if, when this, when this first whole thing started to happen, quarantining and all that and everything getting shut down it was just like okay something's happening we're gonna get through this but now it's just the longer we stay in it the more uh depressing it becomes the more frustrating it becomes the more it just makes me not motivated to do the stuff that i want to do and then I look at people <laughs> who are are dedicated to their craft and they're featuring themselves online and they're like, even though we're in a pandemic and we're quarantined, I'm still managing to get all this stuff done. I'm still managing to do workouts and stuff. And then that just makes me feel like shit. Because <laughs> I'm just sitting here like, okay, I'm just watching Netflix. I'm really not doing anything productive. And I haven't really been doing anything productive anyway, even when we weren't in this pandemic. So it just piles it on more. It just piles it. It's a pock you. Fuck you. Why does it do that? It's a pile driver. Um. <coughs> and so... You know, with the the strictness of YouTube, I think I'm going to tone down the amount of uh, videos I show. I'll still show them, but I'm going to I'm going to vet them more thoroughly to make sure that there's no copywritten music or copywritten content involved. 
And if there is, I'll just, you know, have to mute it and show like a second of it and just refer the people to go check it out. Um, it's just weird. We're living in a strange time. <clears throat> I'm still quarantined. God damn it. But like, so I haven't been talking a lot. I'll like just say random ass shit to myself every once in a while. But when I, when I recorded both these episodes, every time I start talking, like phlegm builds up in my throat. And then I get the throat goblins. And I don't like that because you can't talk until you get that out. And then you get it out and then more throat goblins show up. And so I'm supposed to be heading back. To a place of, you know, to my, to the, the place I work at, because the place I work at is an essential business. And so we are still allowed to work. And so I'm going to be going back to work. And I know I'm going to have to talk to people. And I know those throat goblins are going to show back up. And I wonder by me saying that I'm going back to work, if I'm going to get hate. People are going to say, why are you bothering? You know? But it's an, es- it's, we're still open. It's an ascent, we're in a, we're deemed as an essential business. I'm not going to say what I do, but we're deemed as an essential business. And so, you know, it's not like we don't take the precautions. We sanitize and disinfect everything that people come in contact with. We stay the six feet apart. We, you know, we do what we can, but maybe that's not enough. I don't even know. Should it even be open? Should anything be open? And if, But if nothing's open, you know, if nothing is open, then we're all fucked. We got to have the few things open that need to stay open. So that's what's happening. I just know this is going to go on for a while. But I uh, I just worry about what comes out on the other end, right? How is society going to handle this? How is this going to change us? Are we going to be... Like, are we going to be forever so conscious about uh, everything we touch, everything we do, every person we interact with? Our handshake's going to disappear? Is everyone going to be like Howie Mandel? Like, do you remember when Howie Mandel, like, really came out on the scene in uh, America's Got Talent? And he was doing it like fist bumping and and talking about how he shaves all his hair. And people were like making fun of him. They're like, this guy's ridiculous. He's such a germaphobe. Why is he so scared of germs? And I just remember growing up. And it was always like a a thing to, to not be scared of germs. It was like, uh, uh, you know, expose yourself to the to the elements, build up the immunity. And now we're so against that, and we're 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 doing the things that Howie Mandel <laughs> has always done. <coughs> I still have a bit of a cough and throat goblins, but I'm not sick anymore. I don't know, dude. We just stay away from each other. There's so many opinions. I don't even like talking about this. I don't like talking about controversial things because there's never a good outcome, especially when you put it out on the on the internet. 
there's never a good outcome because no matter what side you take, even if you take the side that is deemed, uh, you know, most uh, agreed upon, you still have thousands of people who will go against whatever you say and you know you just get shit on no matter what with the internet you get shit on no matter what it's different the internet the internet changed things coronavirus is I can't find it <laughs> this virus is gonna change things I mean by me not saying it is just me dancing around what's actually going on without uh, fully addressing it. I don't know. It's just... It just seems like everything is heading in a, in a weird direction. It's so strange. Because you grow up as a kid thinking life is this way you you imagine life to be the way it was when you grew up and i'm wondering kids growing up n right now during this time how is that going to affect them when they're older when they're like 30 years old it might benefit them in a positive way because they 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 have been through the hardship as a, at a young age, so they understand when they're older that anything can happen. And so you got to prepare for things. Whereas me, I grew up in a... I don't know, easy. There was nothing. There was nothing really going on. You just did what you needed to do. And you got what you wanted. I was very... I'll, uh, I guess I should... I mean, I guess I was spoiled. <laughs> <coughs> I definitely was. I wasn't raised properly. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to say... And, and I'm, not, I'm not like I was raised in like an abusive household or anything. I mean, what I mean by that is... My life was just so good as a child because I didn't have much consequences for stuff. And I kind of was able to get a lot of things. And so when I became an adult, I struggled a lot and I st I'm still struggling. And so I don't know. I'm starting to figure things out. It's just weird. I'm just in a weird... I'm in a weird mood today. Like, I knew I had to film this episode because... When I try to upload episode 150 again, if it doesn't work... Then I'm just going to upload the audio version to YouTube. Because I don't see anything wrong with it at this point. I, f I feel I've fixed everything that could be an issue... And if it's still an issue, then it's going to go up as the, as the audio. Because the audio version is available on Spotify and iTunes and Google. It's just the uh, video version that's not available. Because you see Spotify, iTunes, and you know those audio platforms, they're less strict than YouTube. But they also don't have the video elements, so they don't have those copyright infringement c claims and whatnot. But, see, I don't even know. Like, you could probably upload a podcast that had, like, the full, like, half of the Migos song in an episode. And I don't know if Spotify would even pick that up. I don't know if they're as strict as YouTube. YouTube's been around longer than any of these people. So, it's just, yeah. 
I don't know, dude. I just, I know, I, I'm glad I'm going back to work because it's going to, I'm going to get out of the house and I'm going to be doing stuff. And, uh, you know, it's going to bring my mood up a bit. Because when you're inside forever, (laughs) constantly, like I have had no contact with a human being for 10 days. Nothing. I've had a few phone calls here and there. But I haven't uh, seen a person in 10 days and it's just weird it just puts a weird vibe in you you know I hate doing these podcasts when I'm in these weird moods but you know they're not all the not all these episodes are gonna be what you want them to be and they're not always gonna be what I want them to be Um, you know, maybe someday it'll get to a point where, you know, I'm completely satisfied with everything, but I doubt it because is anybody ever like that? What's new with you? Why don't you know? I'm just let's let's lighten let's lighten up the mood a bit here. This this whole ah. <laughs> should I scrap this episode? No, we're gonna continue this episode. We are going to continue, whether you like it or not. Okay. Now, I was scrubbing the internets the other day, as I do, you know. Whenever I go through Twitter, if I see something that I'm like, oh, this would be something good to talk about on the podcast, I'll just retweet it, okay? So if you're following me on Twitter and you see a bunch of retweets of something, that probably means I'm going to talk about... (laughs) Holy macaroni! I just sneezed all over myself. Uh huh. Maybe I should blow that note. Oh yeah. Luckily, I have some hand sanity here. Squirt some of that on me. Oh yeah. Hand sanity. Ah. <sighs> Okay. Oh, it's her. So I was, I was, uh, you know, scrubbing the, the internets the other day. 
and Nicole Hendezade. Is that how you pronounce it? You know, the the girl from uh, Mythical Ki- Kitchen? Ugh. Come on, back the fuck up. What's wrong with the chair, man? This whole house is on an incline. And the chair will just slide forward. And if I get out of this chair, it'll just fucking turn around itself. It's stupid. And if I want to back up the hill, you got to put all this... Ah. Anyway, Nicole... Nicole retweeted this the other day. Uh, She says, let's be real here. Every time someone references Zoom, I think of this. You know, Zoom, as we all know, is the the application that everyone is using to communicate, whether it's for business meetings or, or just friends wanting to get together. That's what people are doing now because of the pandemic. You want to communicate with someone? Get on Zoom. Um, and she put, posts this tweet. You know, every time someone references Zoom, I think of this. And she posted the the intro to Zoom, the old show from 1999. Do you remember that show? Like, you know how you know how much I love nostalgia. Zoom was such a part, a huge part of my childhood. And obviously I can't play any of it, but I can kind of scrub through it here. This is like really old. Um, but if you if you watched Zoom as a child, go check out this tweet, or just you know type in Zoom intro on YouTube, and let that nostalgia come back to you. It is, because in a time like this, it's kind of nice to just go back and think about those old times. It was so, it was so, it was like it was so much simpler, you know? We just didn't care about anything. Like, this is what we cared about, was just turning on the TV, picking the channel, at a specific time of the day, because you knew that's when it was going to be on. That was the only way to watch TV as a child. You had to figure out how the schedule worked. And when Zoom was on, that's when you watched it. And if it wasn't on that day, then... then Guess what? You weren't... You you know, you weren't watching Zoom that day. Because when I was, like, a, a young child in 1999, there was no way... There was no, I mean, I'm sure there was a method to record the TV, but no one knew how to do that, and no one had that technology. There was, like, the the rare few who had it. And so, yeah. Like, you talk to kids today, they just don't understand. They'll never understand it, but they have their things. That they're going to only understand when they get older. And they're going to try to explain that to their kids. And they're not going to get it. It's just... Because I remember being a kid and like older people would always say, you know, you kids have it so easy. When I was a kid, we only had sticks and stones and chalk. (laughs) You know? I just miss those days, dude. Which obviously correlates to the fact that I'm just living, (laughs) obviously, a shitty life now, you know? And I have been since pretty well I left high school. If, If I'm comparing my life to when I was a child and saying that my childhood life is better than what I'm doing right now, then what am I doing? Like, what am I doing? And how much worse is it gonna get? And how long before, you know, something bad happens. Not in like a negative way, you know, but like. Coronavirus! Why? Why? Oopaloopa, buddy ass bitch! 
It's just, it's just today, dude. It's just today. Today is just a weird day. Because it's not only the end of my quarantine, but it's the same day that I'm starting work back up. And so when you stop the everyday routine of, you know, going to work for 10 days and then try to start it back, it's just, this might just be something that I feel, but I feel like a lot of people can relate. It's just weird getting back into the groove of things. It's weird. It's weird getting back up into the groove of things. You know, you get used to something, and then you stop it for a while, and then you try to get it going again, you lose that momentum, and you got to build it back up. And it doesn't take long to build it back up. But it's just a weird feeling. And when you live a life where you long for the days of when you were a child... That's that can't be a good thing. Right? Cuz that's all I feel. Holy shit, why are you making this so goddamn negative? This is not a negative space. <laughs> I know, okay? I get it. It's just when I feel this way, it's hard to just you know, pretend that I'm not feeling this way. Um, this, 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 this lady here at Tiff Anichu, um, ZD Alien Babe. <laughs> she tweeted this, choose your fighter. I thought this was a nice little thread here. It started something. And we all know, we've all seen the like Walmart people and whatnot. This is like an edition of that, but it's the COVID-19 edition of Walmart people. <laughs> because masks, people are running out of masks. Um, man, this is a shitty episode. This is a real shitty episode. I say that about pretty well every episode, but this one's exceptionally shitty. So, thank you for that. Anyway, uh... <laughs> She said, "Choose your fighter, and let's just see who what we what people are doing to prevent catching or spreading coronavirus." <laughs> so we got this lady or man, this human being is driving one of those carts around Walmart. <laughs> they got a literal a Walmart plastic bag tied, cinched around their neck. I'm saying there because I have no idea if this is a man or a woman. I'm seeing titties, but <laughs> uh, I think that's a man. That's man titties, right? And he's got bags on his on his hands as well. Lots of water, and he's going for the bananas. Okay, this is a great one. Um, then this person, good, good, fantastic. Got a party hat over their face. <laughs> now, audio listeners, you're definitely going to want to watch this part. Well, you don't have to. You could just click the link in the description and follow along yourself. But, um, yeah, I'll describe it. So this person has uh, a party hat. You know those triangle party hats? <laughs> has that on her face. <laughs> so she kind of looks like a little bird from a video game or something. I mean, you could say it's better than nothing, but now check this out. First, let's look at the cashier. She is, uh, you know, she's got that look on her face like, whoa, I understand you don't want to get or spread Corona, but what, what exactly are you doing? So he's got... I don't know, some sort of like diaper bag attached around his ankles and then duct taped from from about his knees up to his neck. He's got a garbage bag and then he's got 
you know, the gloves are fine. He's got like dishwashing gloves. Looks like he has another uh grocery bag on his left arm and then on his head he has just like a McDonald's paper bag. No, it's not McDonald's. It's just like a paper bag with a couple eye holes in it. And it's just like you think of you look at this stuff and you're like, is this actually there's no way this this is helping at all, is it? This right? I mean, maybe a little bit. I don't know. I guess it would. Uh, now this is a good one here. <laughs> this guy, another grocery shopper. He's got okay. He's got regular latex gloves on, or maybe those are just like mechanics gloves or something. You know, they're like a um, um, a, fi a fabric material glove. Okay. And it kind of looks like he has another yellow glove underneath. He's buying beans and french fries. And that looks like it. Beans and french fries. But on his head, <laughs> he's just got like a, a big jug, a big water jug that he cut a hole into and stuck his head in. And the cap's not on the top, so he's got a, a breathing hole. Okay. That does the job. Now, this is what the alien babe posted. But there's, uh, you know, people are contributing. And I want to run through them. Let's just run through them. Here we got a guy with uh, a hazmat suit on. Or a painter's... What do you call these? Tyvek suits. That's what they're called. Tyvek suits. And a horse... A, ho <laughs> a horse head mask. And this guy's loving it. This guy in the background here is staring at him. He's loving every minute of it. Uh, this lady has, you know when you buy those uh, those bed in the bag sets, okay? It comes in that uh, plastic square thing with the zipper. She's got that over her body. But she also has a mask on her face. So it's a little overkill. And she's at Lowe's because there's a Lowe's employee talking to her. And he looks a little concerned. Uh, this person got like a full yellow garbage bag over her, their body. And then another plastic bag over their head. And then a mask on. Um, I mean, as you know, I was, you, you do want to make fun of this, but it's. It would, it would work, right? Like, the plastic would keep it all out. It's just kind of... I couldn't bring myself to do that, I don't think. Oh, this guy. <laughs> this guy's got a shoe. <laughs> this guy's got a shoe. <laughs> Literally strapped to his head, to his face. He's got his mouth and his nose inside the shoe where the foot goes. And he uses the shoelaces to strap it around the back of his head. And he's just like buying some Subway or something. Uh, <laughs> I can't. Now that, there's no way he's doing that on purpose. That's got to be a joke or something, right? A guy, like... I couldn't I couldn't do that. Doesn't even look like a new shoe. It looks like a used shoe. So he's smelling it. He's he's breathing in that stank. That foot fungus. He's going to get foot fungus in his throat. Who else do we Oh, we got another water jug here. This one's a little bit more professional though cuz he cut it out from the bottom and he put it on like a helmet. And he also has the the 3M face mask with the filter on it. I'm about to sneeze again. Ooh, wow. Sacagawea. <clears throat> and this person put a, a mask on their cat. <clears throat> Which I don't know why, because the animals can't get it. <clears throat> oh, God. Throat goblins. Here's another good one. These, this couple, this 
this older couple. Um, we see the husband with a Hawaiian shirt on. He's got his gloves on. His wife has the gloves on as well. <clears throat> I gotta blow. Hi. <laughs> okay, but over their mouth and nose, they've got um, tampons, like the pad, the pad style tampons. What do you call those pads? I don't know. Um. All right. Here we got a, a girl in a gimp suit, and she's at. Looks like no frills. <laughs> God, I hate the throat goblins. Can't even talk. And you know, this might actually... This gimp suit here, it's full. She's fully enclosed in that thing. And it has a full gas mask with a filter on it. So... You know, I think this might actually be a decent idea here. There's no way anything's getting into that suit or out of that suit. She's got her hair sticking out. She's probably going to turn a lot of guys on <laughs> walking around like that. Now this, I don't even know if this was for COVID-19. This just looks like an art project. This girl has a piece of lettuce with a couple eye holes strapped to her face and it's kind of it's like shaped to her face I don't think that's for COVID same with this these people got breadsticks wrapped to their face that's not <laughs> let's see if there's any other good ones okay yeah this guy's like the witch doctor he's got newspaper rolled up in a witch doctor style mask is that what it's called? Witch doctor? We got eye holes and then garlic dangling from it. Very nice. What else do we got? Full scuba gear with even an oxygen tank. No flippers though, so you, you know this person's legit. Now this I think you we've seen around. This person's in an inflatable inflatable uh, unicorn costume. Now what's good about this is not only does it block everything out, okay, keep it all contained, it's got positive air pressure or negative positive on the inside because it's constantly keeping that thing inflated. So if anything does try to get into the cracks, the air pressure is going to blow it out. So this is actually a smart idea. Uh, this guy has got the wrong idea. Uh, there's no way. I don't even... This this is probably an older picture way before Corona even existed. But this guy's got, like, just a, a trash can on his head. But it's got holes in it all over it. Um, so that's not going to do anything. But I don't think that's what that's for. And here's that same scuba person again. Oh my god, what just happened? I clicked on the person's profile rather than the picture. So now we gotta go back. And scroll back down again. How f***ing wonderful. How wonderful world. Where is he? Here he is. Okay, there's another angle of that scuba person. Full scuba gear. That's a big oxygen tank, too. Okay, we got another selection of fighters here. This, this guy's just like, fuck it. Full garbage bag. Like a clear garbage bag. Head to toe. Perfect. This, oh wow, this girl's got a sponge strapped to her mouth and nose. Very nice. 
another garbage bag, cinched around the neck, and a gas mask. Again, more garbage bags. People just love the garbage bags. Oh, this... <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't show that. This guy's got panties on his face. You know, I think I think we've gone through enough of these. Another bottle. Like, we're starting to just see the same shit over and over again. I will say the shoe... The shoe strapped to the face was a nice touch. I haven't seen that before. And uh, that's not something I would ever consider doing. Um, yeah, I don't think ever. tragedy that we're in there's people who can still bring out a positive light on all this negativity and uh i just want to say thank you to steve zaragoza stay home stay home stop going out stay home
You're cool. It's okay. You stay. You, you can do it. You're walking your dog. You're good. You're doing good. Stay home, Eileen. Don't go out, Eileen. Keep your hands clean. And stay six feet away. Go home, Eileen. Yeah. Lovely. Love Steve Zaragoza. He's a great... <laughs> Go home, Eileen. <laughs> oh, he's fantastic. Uh, one other person I would like to shout out is Duncan Trussell. Um, if you don't know who Duncan Trussell is, you're missing out. The guy is one of the most original thinkers out there he's got some crazy ideologies and ideas and thoughts he's just a he's a very creative thinker um you know if you if you're a fan of joe rogan and his podcast you're gonna know who duncan trussell is and yeah uh, if you're not a fan of 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 joe rogan uh, you you don't have to be to like Duncan Trussell. Duncan Trussell is so different from Joe Rogan, but they they both they're both good friends, and so you know he's featured on the Joe Rogan podcast every so often, and he's got his own podcast and his own. He's a comedian, um, and I highly recommend just listening to whatever he has out there, because it's always so interesting to listen to. And definitely smoke some weed before you you listen to him because he's got just the the way the way he thinks about things is so different and original and I love it and I love it. <laughs> Say it twice. Say I love it twice. Um, but he's got this uh this this animated series coming out on Netflix, and from the trailer it really encapsulates how his mind works and I can't wait for this show to come out I can't show the trailer because YouTube will eat my bum hole but if you you know if you go to the show is called the midnight gospel um, if you just go to Duncan Trussell's page you can find the tra the trailer here on Twitter and it comes out why isn't this zooming in okay right at the butthole why is it why is it stopped at the butthole okay when does it come out mm. April 20th, oh, of course, April 20th, <laughs> comes out on 420, 420, everyone, woo, of course it does, go check that shit out, you're gonna like it, I think you're gonna like it, I mean, why not, right, um, and also, I wanna start doing, oh, fuck, I want to start doing a recommendation at the end of every episode. Whether it's another podcast or another YouTuber or whatever. A book. A video game. A pair of underwear. Whatever it is, I just want to start recommending stuff. And I know Ear Biscuits does this. Rhett and Link's podcast, and, you know, you could say I'm copying them, but I just, I've always liked that idea, and I've always had recommendations in this podcast, but I just want to, I just want to, if it is considered stealing, I don't think it is, I just want to take that aspect of your biscuits and put it into this, okay? Just one recommendation every episode 
And, you know, since we're on the topic of, of Ear Biscuits, that's what I'm recommending. I'm recommending Ear Biscuits. If you haven't checked out Rhett and Link's Ear Biscuits, I highly recommend it. Those two guys have such... They're very, very intelligent people, and they they really know how this whole internet thing works. They have a really good handle on it, and they've always had a good handle on it since, like, 2005, 2006. Every piece of content that they put out is, uh, is unique, and it, uh, it follows whatever criteria needs to be followed <laughs> to actually get views. They know how to work with the algorithm. Oh my god, they know how to work with the algorithm. They know how to... They know how to do everything properly in such a way that they're never going to get flagged or demonetized. And they've been doing it that proper way even way before they even uh, started. I mean, even way before YouTube started this whole, you know, copyright infringement and and term violations and all that, they were doing it back then. And so, and they're still evolving. Like, they're starting to do vlogs on their main channel now. And, you know, of course, they got Good Mythical Morning, but Good Mythical Morning is growing so exponentially every day. And they've, they've branched off. Good Mythical Morning to have the, what is it called, the Mythical Kitchen or whatever, like they're, they're doing, they do things so well, you know, that if, if you're a person who wants to understand how to do things online properly, check these guys out, not only that, but they just have great insights about their day-to-day lives and, and things that they have in their life. When they have a story to tell, they won't even discuss it amongst their, each other until they sit down to do the podcast so that it's all fresh. Like if, the, if you know, because they've been living together, they've known each other since grade one, and they've been best friends since grade one. They've done everything together since grade one. So when you know when the when Link's family and Rhett's family go on two separate vacations, they don't talk to each other. They don't say anything about the vacation until they get into the studio. And it's so cool how they do things. So I recommend Ear Biscuits. Check them out. They're the latest episode up to date with this episode that I'm currently recording. Not when this is released, but when I'm currently recording, is them talking about. <coughs> You know, the impacts of what's going on in the world right now and and how they feel about it. And their insight is is pretty compelling. And I listened to it this morning while I was cleaning up. And they <laughs> they kind of put me in this weird mood. They kind of accelerated this weird mood for me because they uh, just the, the way that they expressed what's going on. And that's not me saying that I hated what they said. I loved what they said. I agreed with everything that they said. I just, it just got me thinking about how messed up this whole thing is. And so if you are one of the people who listens to this podcast or watch this podcast, I just want to say that, you know, I appreciate it, but I know there isn't anyone and there hasn't been for a long time. There's the odd few every once in a while, but it's, I'm just, I get, you know, I gotta, I've, I've, I always say this, but you just gotta keep doing it. And I keep pushing to make this podcast something, something special, something for people to listen to. And so, yeah, I don't plan on giving up on the podcast. This was, uh, you know, a few years ago. If I only had like 20 episodes out and it was a few years ago, I would stop. But I'm 151 in. There's no reason for me to stop now. I got to keep going. Uh, so with that being said, that's it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, episode 151. 
Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you know, click, click, subscribe, like, comment, hit the bell. You know the drill. Um, that's it. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye!